What's up guys? Welcome back to another edition of Skate Park Lessons with me, JB, here at the Sunnyvale Skate Park. And today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do 50-50s. Check it out. All right guys, before we get into our 50-50s, it's important that you know how to drop in, how to pump, and how to kick turn on bank ramps and quarter pipes. Before we get into 50-50s on quarter pipes, I'm gonna teach you the process of how to do them on a bank ramp first. Notice the blue line of tape I put on the top of the bank ramp where the ramp goes flat, okay? That's gonna be your imaginary coping, and you can use that to train yourself to land on top of the blue tape and then come back down. Okay, so I want you guys to start from about 20 feet behind the bank ramp, okay? You're gonna start 20 feet back, Give it some good pushes, get your feet set, heels and toes matching, pump your body up the ramp and into your kick turn and try to kick turn your body onto the blue line or onto the imaginary coping. When you do this, your goal is to get your head and shoulders back as you do your kick turn to set your body weight on top of the blue line and pause. When you feel comfortable with that, then you're gonna begin your kick turn leaning your head over your front foot and pressing into your pump back down the bank ramp. Typically, the most difficult part of learning this is controlling your speed as you go up the bank ramp. So, I want you to pay attention to how you do that. And how you do that is gonna be by pumping up and onto your blue line. I want you to pump your body up. Don't worry about as much from pushing to get up there, but focus on pushing, getting your feet set, and reaching your body up by throwing your body weight up as you ride up the ramp to control your speed and stop your body weight on the blue line. Once you have your speed and your pumping rhythm set so that you can get on the blue line each time, the next most important thing is to do your kick turn, head and shoulders go back over your heels, and I want you to set your body weight by bending your knees down as if somebody was gonna push you really hard and knock you off your feet, okay? Bend those knees deep, Set your body weight to keep your legs strong and engage your muscles in your leg. This allows you to gain extra control and extra stability by having that feeling of growing roots through your wheels and into the ground so you feel stable while you're on the coping. Also, it's important to remember that as you ride down that ramp, your body goes where your head goes, so I want you guys to keep your head in over your front foot into a gentle press all the way through the ramp until you get to the flat. Once you guys get comfortable and confident with your 50-50s on bank ramps, next we're gonna do them in quarter pipes. And first, we're gonna build that confidence by learning how to knee slide in from a 50-50 stall so that you can feel safe. First, you're gonna set your skateboard on the coping so that your toe wheels are up, locked against the coping, and the skateboard feels safe and stable when you stand on it so that most of the board is on the top deck of the ramp. With your heels and toes matching, you're gonna bend your knees and drop into a knee slide off of your skateboard, which is in a 50-50. Next, you're gonna step back on your skateboard with your front foot first, lock those heels and toes in the right spot, then the back foot goes on the tail, heels and toes matching, and you're gonna shuffle your back foot so that your heel wheel is against the outside of the coping. You're gonna then begin your kick turn with your head over your front foot and start to lean into your toes and into your pump as you ride down the ramp. Please make sure to keep your head forward and pump as you ride down for added stability. Next, as you become comfortable with the cross lock-in, with your heel wheel locked in and your front truck locked the opposite direction, now it's time to step it up. You're gonna lock both heel wheels against the coping. This is a little harder to do as there's not as much skateboard to balance on. So bend those knees, keep your head over your heels to keep your balance. When you feel comfortable and confident with that, next we're gonna start by dropping in to enter onto our 50-50. Now the best way for you guys to learn control and consistency with your 50-50s is going to be to drop in as slow as you can, bend down and throw your body up, up that ramp and onto your 50-50 as much as you can. So drop in slow, and reach to get onto that coping instead of dropping in fast and trying to stop yourself onto a 
that's hard to do because as you make your kick turn and your head and shoulders go back, your momentum grabs you and pulls you backwards as well. This, the way I'm teaching you, you're gonna start from the bottom and you're changing direction by lifting up. That way when your weight comes back down, it sets and you can lock your body by stopping on top of the coping. Instead, your goal is to drop in slow and bend down hard and throw your body weight up the ramp as if you were jumping onto the coping from a stop. So imagine you're gonna bend your knees and hop up onto the object instead of running to land onto the object. That should give you a better understanding of how to get your body weight up on top of the coping and stay consistent each try. By doing it this way, you'll have better understanding and control of your speed and confidence. It's gonna be a nice, smooth, slow pump, reaching your body weight up and focus on kick turning onto the coping instead of thinking about it as a 50-50. Drop into your pump, bend down, throw that body weight up into a kick turn onto the coping, head and shoulders back right as that back truck gets on that coping, set your body weight on your heels and pause for a second. If it feels good, evaluate sliding that back truck so your heel wheels against the coping and kick turn back into your pump, head over your front truck, nice smooth pump through the ramp to the flat. Now, to teach you guys how to get into your 50-50 grinds, you need to incorporate carving. So in order to do this, you're gonna drop in, pump up, but start your pump early, leaning over those toes and into a carve. I want you to keep a nice smooth rainbow up and onto that coping. The better you get at this, the sharper your rainbow is gonna be and the faster you'll be able to enter into your grind. As you ride up and onto that coping, just your heel wheels should roll over the coping and lock in as your knees are bent. Keeping your shoulders parallel to the coping, heels and toes matching, then you're able to bend down and kick turn in whenever you're ready and build and add momentum to your grind to add additional speed on your exit. As you get better at this, you won't even hear your front truck smack down on the coping as you get into your 50-50. It should literally be pumping up into your carve and rolling into your 50-50 and bending down and pumping out with additional speed if you want. As an intermediate skateboarder, your 50-50 grinds should be your setup trick into a harder trick after or to gain additional speed out of it. Remember to wear your knee pads when you're learning this on vert and bigger ramps as this will add extra confidence and extra stability to allow you to stay low and pump out of your grinds. As you guys learn to grind around corners, it's best to get on the straight part of the coping first, then lean your head in as you go around the corner. In order to do this, you're gonna lock both heel wheels against the coping. This will allow you to have both wheels locked in so that you can lean your head in while you grind around corners. That stability and control is gonna come from your lean as you go around the turns because your body's gonna wanna stay straight. So if you go to grind around a corner and you're on top of the coping and not leaned in, you're gonna roll off of the coping and stay straight off of your grind while the coping turns. So to counteract that, you're gonna have to lean in, keeping those knees bent and grind with both heel wheels against the coping. All right guys, I want you to pay extra special attention to the angle of my lean as I grind through the corners and also as I enter and exit my 50-50 while I'm grinding, I keep my knees bent for that added stability. That's gonna allow me to keep my knees bent so that when I ride out, I can pump. My knees are already pre-bent to pump out. The sharper the corner, the more you're gonna have to lean your head in towards the center and stay tucked and low as you grind through the corner. Now, for you advanced rippers looking to push your limits on a vert wall or vert ramp, I want you guys to try your grinds by going fast. This is gonna help battle that free fall sensation that you get from a vert ramp or vert wall. Make sure to stay low and tucked as you lock into your 50 so that you get that nice, big, strong pump out with a low center of gravity so that you keep stability and confidence all the way through the transition into the flat. Hey, thanks for watching this edition of Skate Park Lessons. I hope you guys really got a better understanding of how to do your 50-50s, keep your rhythm in the ramp, and control your speed through your pumping. Please like my video, subscribe to my videos, and I'll keep making more for you guys. See you at the park.